Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is The Wolf and I'm casting the final game between Tojo and Musical TNT. And the music's very good for it, if you guys can hear it. It's like... Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. That'd be the music if you sat in the lobby for like 10 minutes. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely looking forward to this. That, that first game was amazing, and the second game was amazing, and the third game... Probably gonna be a major letdown, but we can hope for the best. So we got a. Uh, <clears throat> we'll take a quick drink, guys. Gonna take a quick drink. So <sighs> there we go. Ready to cast. Been just sitting quiet for like half an hour. So don't sit quiet very well. <sighs> okay. So we have Tanoob Trumpet, the green Terran player. I think he played random, and he's on the right spawn of scrap station and we have tojo the white i guess it's kind of white technically white ish anyway i'm going to do a quick test something right now i'm set to a air quote guys air, air quote time guys referee a referee and i just asked tojo to look it up because i can't alt tab on my laptop and apparently a referee is somebody who can say something in a pro game is what he said a pro game and the other players can read it and a spectator can't so I'm kind of wondering exactly what that means but well we, we understand what that means I, just, I wonder what like hey guys what was the word you understand was it you my computer slowing down the game was it the word you or was it the word uh ps the word talk or anything uh yeah I'm just wondering what it means by pro game so Itch my head real fast, guys, because not much action is going on. I'm, I don't know. I'm really excited for this, guys. I, I was just, I was blown away by the micro of both players in both games. And I did some... God damn it. He's like tearing again. <laughs> yeah, it's, he just beat a gold player. No! Proxy pylon. Here, I'll help you. Oh, that'd be so messed up if I could actually cancel it for him. Hey guys, wanna play a two for two on one? Uh, so, we got it, the racks going down just fine. Um, Scrap Station is usually a map that will favor expanding or teching over attacking since it's such a long rush distance. I, that wasn't a quote, but I, I kind of wanted to, so I said it like a quote, but I didn't quote, I promise. And just killing the probes, doing natural build over here. Pretty good to see you guys a quick look. That'd be the pylon that I have a problem remembering. Bail pylon. And there goes down the 16. Orbital Command. They really should say something when it's online, like, Orbital oh, Command online. I am a adjudic adjudicant. Guys, I'm so cool. Oh, here we go. Secret power. Let's take a moment to look. Yep. No, 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 we don't want to see that. And he complete. sees it. Unit complete. Damn, Tojo. You really just want them proxy the pylons to go down. Probably going to send the first. Uh, first Marine, they're called Marines, they're not called... I don't know what I was trying to call them in my head, I think I called them Barracks. It's, it's like the first thing I had in mind, I'm like, he's gonna send his first two Barracks over there. Scouting for the win. <laughs> they probably can't read what I said. They'll say some mean things about Terran players. So right now, Tojo... I'm repeat. CB. <laughs> I don't think you can read that. I'll just say more mean things. Oh no, we got the ghost going down. He's going to try the same tactic. Be mean. But of course he's got command of the watchtower. This is like... When I, this is the very first StarCraft 2 game I watched. Was the uh, battle net talk about this map. And You know, originally it used to have like a perfect square of smoke around it. And it's like, the Zell, these watchtowers are very important. So you have filled the vision. Vision of the map, guys. Etc. Like, how could you hate StarCraft over Brood War? It's, I mean, I could see how you like Brood War more, but hating StarCraft over it? It's just, like, guys, we added some more dynamic elements. We have destructible rocks, we have smoke crap, and we have Zelanga Towers. It, I just don't get it. Do you, uh, it's, it's cool to me. It's cool to me. And that's kind of cool, too. I never noticed that asteroid. That'd be, that's probably the same one that's in the loading screen for some maps. Uh, but we'll start looking at the players again. So both players are kind of currently macking up. I think Tojo's going to hide some tech over here. Not too bad. Um, scan, definitely didn't see that, even though it has like an explosive radius of infinity. Let's take a look. 
Yeah, he didn't even see the pile. Like that. That's good. Although he may have seen the crow. I don't think he's going to be able to assume too much from that. And just go in. Two zealots. One stalker. One sentry. Kind of just doing the normal macro protoss thing. We've got a quick attack for four marines and one marauder. Marauder. He's going to go test the marauders over there. <laughs> I am so funny. Like, how does he clap? He claps with his hands, and no seashell for you. Shit. Oh no. Touch is definitely gonna have to, uh. He's down a whole 200 minerals through that stupid tab. He's just getting warp gate tech, so he should be able to warp in some reinforcements. He should be able to hold this off without too much of a problem due to the long rush distance. It's nice. It's definitely hoping for a longer game myself, my friends. So, at least 10 minutes. He's gonna go for the destructible rocks. I guess he must be thinking that perhaps the. The uh, Protoss player Tojo has expanded. We also have the scouting automata Automatron 2000. Oh, I told him that's MMG. Haha. -ha. Wait, let's see. Oh, cool! I, c I can text them personally. That's how that works. That's cool. It's kind of overpowered, but at least you guys can see in the cast that I didn't cheat. So interesting though. He was able to get a scout. I don't think. Okay, he lost 300 worth of units there somehow, so... Must have had a little bit more than just a couple zealots. Uh, with a good surround of zealots, he should be able to get some good kills. He's going scouting for more. The big thing was that he gave away the position of his pylon. He needs to get the zealot out of there. And he's got this dirt deadly M. What kind of... what? What's your favorite strategy, Terran players? Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Time to use that. Call down extra supply. Power activates. Also has the early engineering base going for fast plus one weapons. Kind of interesting there. Get rid of that. That's why my hand is on the keyboard just sitting there. Goes for a mule though. Silly Terran. He's silly Terran you. Three war brigades getting... Ah, immortals. And a forge. I'm interested to see how this game will play out. I mean, the immortals... Immortals are actually pretty good against MM. With... Please note the asterisks. And ignore the man behind the curtain. With guardian shield. Because... Cutting down the attack, the marines still eat them up pretty well, but mix in with your army, especially focus firing the marauders, which is what they should always be doing. Guardian shields can really give them the edge to really, well guardian shields so good, it's, it's awesome. Everything that Protoss do is awesome. So from now on, I'm not even going to cast anything Protoss does, I'm just going to look at you and be like, that was awesome. <laughs> Guys, can you feel me looking at you? I'm looking right at you. I am... Dave, I can't let you do that, Dave. Right now we have new trumpets moving out with about seven marines and five marauders. He's going to go test some more marauders. And unfortunately, he's not going very marauder heavy. I think it's interesting that he went for an immortal, probably an immortal into Colossus. Oh, once again, he's kind of... Hmm. Well, he's kind of like doing a Protoss one-on-one, but he... I don't know exactly what to say about this. I'm, I'm, I like this play. He was also able to get these four zealots over towards his opponent. This could be really important to the game. Uh, he's got the first. He's gonna go for a nuke. Oh, he's gonna see that. He's gonna see the nuke. Lucky for him. Dojo may be losing. He's got this going on here. He's like time to build a mineral turret. Hey, I, I, I kind of like that play though. Unfortunately, wasn't able to do much damage. He's definitely behind the units lost. But for some reason, he doesn't look like he's in that bad of a position. Maybe six hundred. Oh, he's he's doing a good job staying on top of his macro. He's doing a good job here. Very impressive. Uh, so that's why his force still looks so deadly even compared to this MMG now. Um, something just blew up. We got one nuke and one ghost, I think. Look at the units tap real fast. Yes, just one ghost. So this ghost, I assume, I'm going to call the future again. Sorry, I got something in my eye. I can't see very well, guys. So I'll cast blind. Um... I assume he's going to try to once again impress me, and this time he's going to do it perfectly with a... Uh, these, pil these pylons are pretty well placed. I don't think I don't think he's in too much of danger. He's also getting hallucination. Interesting. And then he's going through these rocks again. They don't know what, they don't know what they're doing, but... I, uh, not, not like that. They don't know what the opponent is doing, and so they aren't quite sure. Uh, the hallucinated phoenix though will really give him the edge there and might make him pull back. But right now he's got an engagement going on. I don't think they've got charge yet. They don't have any plus any, but he's definitely caught in position right there. Is able to hit a marine uh, EMP on all those zealots, but unfortunately he's still in a bad spot. There's, he 
just too much for the Terran player to deal with right here. So many zealots. And even though his units are being EMP, he's like, I don't care. I'll just go fucking kill your MMG. You guys can see how energetic I was there. Of course, he's going to lose an immortal there. It's a really bad drop. Oh, he needs those zealots to take the damage. He needs to back up. Oh, but they just got charged. Perfect timing for that charge. And that def I was about to say, look, I have the 8 minute mark. Oh, that ain't mark. And. Ba -da -ba -ba -dum. That would be the Incredibles. And he's got a little bit of a counter uh, push going on here. He's got, he's got enough units to take this out. No nuke went down, so unfortunately he's mismicring his units a little bit. But that actually could be good. He should back up. Back up, my friend. No. What's your counter to MM? I sit in a single st a single sentry at a time. Expanding after holding off a push, that's very wise. Being able to push his so-called advantage. Like I said, he's probably behind and the units lost. Yeah, he's behind by a thousand minerals.